Hello, my name is Zion, and it's time to state the facts. Are you ready? Here we go. This is what you need. First, we're going to need a map of the United States, paper and pencil to write the facts, and a magnifying glass. Allow me to state the fact in the listening ear to hear the facts. We have four new facts to, to identify the states on the map. Okay, Ami, take it away. Okay, Zion, I have to admit, I pulled a fast one on you. I have your Troy Hogue, who is here to introduce the next four facts for next week's State the Fact. Fact one, I spread from the Chesapeake Bay to the Appalachian Mountains. Fact two, Richmond is a capital with waterfalls and fountains. Fact three, I'm one of the first 13. Fact four, Pocahontas is the island that lies on me. Okay, you heard all the facts. Now it's time to investigate. Oh, and the answer to the last week's fact was the state. Hold on there, Zion. Not so quickly. I have a few more facts for those of you who may have missed the clues from last week's State the Facts. All right, guys, get ready to investigate. This state entered the Union as the 16th state on June 1st, 1796. And the animal of this state is a raccoon. The state bird is a mockingbird. The flower of this state is the iris. This state is also known for the helpful volunteers who go out and help everyone in the community. And the origin of the name of this state came from the old Yuchi Indian word whose meaning means meeting place. And my final fact, this state's capital is home to the Country Music Hall of Fame. I bet you guessed it now. Okay, Zion, I'll turn it back over to you to give the answer to last week's State the Facts. The last week's fact was the state of Tennessee. If you guessed it correctly, well, that's great. I'm Zion Dorm, and I'm now. See you next time. Excellent job, Zion and Troy. And thank you, boys and girls, for listening today. And parents, if you want to have another search for your kids, have them log on to kids.nationalgeographics to learn a little bit more about that cute little furry Tennessee raccoon. All right, friends, have a good day. And kiddos, check out this cool video from National Geographic Kids about the raccoon. And now it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 160, the amazing raccoon. This rascally little mammal is extremely adaptable. Raccoons are very good at living amongst us, but they also live wild throughout North and Central America. They're about the size of a large cat, but they're more related to bears. And you can't bear it when I steal your food. <laughs> Baby raccoons don't leave the den for the first few months. Uh, pizza. Eight weeks later, it's time to leave. Mom, we're late for the picnic, and I've got dumpster diving at five. Raccoons are incredibly agile. I've got this. Okay, I haven't got this. Ugh. Most of the time, they have amazing paws that have highly sensitive touch receptors. Yes, we've got a good handle on things. <laughs> Raccoons are opportunistic omnivores. Hey, quit trash talking me. It means they'll pretty much eat anything. Actually, that's true. But it's your fault for leaving this stuff lying around. We don't want to waste it. <laughs> and speaking of waste, raccoons communicate by marking their territory with their poop. Gross! Not on the roof! <laughs> but the main aim is to stuff yourself silly before the winter hits. Oh, whoop! How did that happen? And the restaurant is open! High five! They need the food to build up body fat to make it through the winter. Mmm, pizzas, mmm, hot dogs, mmm, pasta ketchup. Oh, sorry. We see them as backyard bandits, but the raccoon really is an amazing animal. 